two workouts, six hours. Yeah, somebody's got to do it. I also just tied my shoes, which is unheard of. Cause we're gonna be I told you this was the last Monday morning of your life. And I got a couple of flows. You let me sit and I'm giving you all of my hearts. Everything that I've been inside. Don't look up out in the records. Repugnant pundits that push agendas and pass judgment. My confidence consequently squandered. I'm being honest. These moments never lapse. I sit and watch them pass me. But still find time for the craft throughout the Mr. Madness. This mind numbing tactic has now been a major factor. What well, you see as monotonous becomes my daily practice. Studded around but from front to back till I know it all. It's every adjective. It's every consonant. It's every similar verb noun that's fortified. It's for the soul but it's all composed like a fragile mind. I would argue everybody. In theory, there's nobody you can't have as a customer. So, the reason for 700 bucks that I would go to a meme account that has three million followers on Instagram to do a post is just the sheer volume of attention for that $700 is gonna create distribution, got it? In my family at work, they whole lives. I've seen them struggle and survive. That's where I learned the meaning of sacrifice. To love someone so much that you put your dreams on the shelf. To provide a life for them that you never had. Stop. Yourself up a corner and nice and deep run. All your mess over no fronts. Roaches inside the dresser, but right. never settle for less of these rabbits. Speak of progression as though they've actually you know seen it. This mind boggling and selfishness is old. Materialistic shit can fix all of your problems and situations and instances. I've seen what money yeah, does to the soul. And mud is it. Name? There's no moral right. compass, but you've amassed an amount of wealth and invest in the crucifix and the tempest. Yeah, because I'm winning that whole like businessman personality thing and all the other guys and girls that are trying to win, they're doing it full time. And so like a lot of times I'll make fun of them because they're my friends, you know, I'm like, you know that Gary Vee's my side hustle, right? Yeah, like the yeah, You know, <laughs> you know, so, so they're always like, holy shit, that's true. Yeah. Okay. Big fan. Thank you, mate. Yeah, you're awesome, man. Just Take keep care. doing it. Thank you. Right. Yes, love, knowledge, look at Don't know what they mean, they're special just for you. More stuff to back it. Yeah, and, and not just like the, the cases, but just the, uh, the infrastructure. Well, we're going to be able to do more of it um, because I'm going to hire a lot more against it, and so it's like just going to keep giving them more assets. Right. Provide a life for them that you never had for yourself. I recall all their matches deep run. All your mints over low funds. Roaches inside the dresser, but never said off for me. When did you get in? I got in yesterday. Yeah. Latte's great. I got in yesterday. Yeah. Are you guys doing any marketing to rec to consumer on behalf of the tenants because you want to become the. That's what we're starting to do. Well, that's where that's we can. Where, well, yeah, whenever, you're, we're, whenever yeah. you're mature enough yeah. to have that conversation, yeah. here's my punchline. Yeah. Depending on how much you do or don't know about me, will we'll factor in how much you believe what I'm about to say. My basic goal with this company is very simple. If a, if a human who represents a company gives me a penny, that whatever the fuck they want to happen, I'll do a better job with that penny than anybody in the world. And that's why we don't deem ourselves a social media shop. We think we're a attention shop. So we have every capability, media, production, creative, strategy, and it all comes down to one thing. Tell me what you want to happen, and then we try to go backwards in spending the lowest amount of money to make it happen. Another successful trip to London. Um, I think 30 hours this time, so pretty good. Bunch of client meetings, uh, all client meetings, all uh, current clients and a couple of prospective clients. And so, um, 
really excited about it. My man here coming through again, doing his thing. And uh, yeah, nothing super, you know, I didn't give you a whole lot of crazy footage this time. You know, a lot of meetings you couldn't be a part of and just classic like running a business. You know, like, I, you know, when I think about Daily V, 365 episodes or the ambition of, um, maybe maybe 330 because of family vacations or things of that nature. <clears throat> you know, s- some days are just not gonna have anything too exciting. As a matter of fact, most days shouldn't. Uh, 85% and one of the challenges that D-Rock and another Tyler and, and homies that we hang out like Rafi here, like, you know, one of the challenges is really figuring out how to at least show the context of all the meetings I'm actually having. One thing I was telling D-Rock the other day is like, look, 80% of the time I'm spending is on VaynerMedia meetings, but Daily V is not showing that because we can't show so much. And so, you know, right? I mean, exactly. think, th- th- right? Think about what happened on this trip. I'm running. I'm running a business here. Uh, I'm busy. I'm running a business, and I'm 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 in meetings that affect other human beings, and so it's hard for me to show them. But, you know, I think um, it's a good opportunity for let you, to let you guys know. Like, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of um, hardcore day in and day out business making uh, that is not being shown and I'm gonna try to do a better job of figuring out how to interject it even if we just so show the still of the meeting starting or the meeting ending and we we, we start putting times and, and start putting Vayner meeting, Vayner meeting, Vayner meeting because this Gary Vee shit is my side hustle. I'm the CEO of the fastest growing, hottest 800 person, 700 person digital social agency in the world. if you never checks the weather. <laughs> Counterpunch. <laughs> it rains or yeah. Uh, Dave, Dave, Dave Morin's got that one intro to that female entrepreneur sports media site. Um, I can do that. How much time do I have in between June? Why don't I, why don't I, why don't I leave San Francisco early and get to New- LA Wednesday night? And how am I getting to Miami? Red eye? No shot to do anything out. No, no shot to catch your earlier one, right? Yeah, but it should, not too, not too bad in my opinion. I think, like not the worst. Six thirty to eight and get it done. You know what I mean? Unless we get a good thing in, you know. Then I think James. Then Chicago, the twenty fourth is fine. Is ready to see us? It's, it's, it works pretty good. Okay. It's amazing that I'm at that point in my career where my assistant um, is like. It's like a, it's an organ. It's like so attached. Tyler's doing an incredible job. He's not been feeling well. Um, so it's amazing how uh, the piece is just going back and forth, strategizing. It's hand-to-hand combat. It's a partnership. It's amazing. I, I think one of the things a lot of people um, are missing out on as an entrepreneur, if you've got a little bit of success, I know a lot of you are just starting out, but a lot of you are watching and you have some traction. Um, I'm highly, recommending assistance. Uh, I'm highly recommending teams around your content, the DRocks and the Andes of the world. 
I'm highly recommending the office of the CEO types, this chief of staff. It may seem like a luxury and something that you can't afford, but inevitably there's always a young buck. You know, there's a, there's a, there's a connection to be made here in the comment section. 44 year old successful entrepreneur who doesn't think she or he has the luxury of paying somebody 70,000 a year to be their chief of staff and, and really help them scale above and beyond their right hand CFO type or controller or, or bookkeeper, their COO type, their right hand man or woman. Um, meanwhile, there's 50 to 100 people watching this right now. They're 22, 23, 24 that don't want to do it the normal way. That don't want to you know, wait seven or eight or nine years to do interesting work. And so, yeah, I see it's dark. And so, are willing to play that chief of staff, office of the CEO, office of the founder role, part assistant, part content producer, part COO, part uh, psychologist. Uh, and uh, I don't need that, by the way. Um, I just need compliments. And so. Um, You're doing a great job, Gary. Thank you, D Rock. <laughs> and, so, uh, and so I think that. Um, We need more creativity in the way we structure our businesses. I wish I did a chief of staff, um, an admin type, that character, when I was building Wine Library. I had Brandon, but he was really director of operations. He was really my right hand. He was too senior to do do the 43 things, which were 22 little things, like book, schedule this, and 18 things of like follow up with this. It's just a big deal. We need to, I need to, I need to figure this out. I've, I've gotten an enormous amount of value from um, my content team, my admin, and my office of CEO, and it's the best investment I've made in my career so far, and I'm looking to expand it. I'm looking to make the office of CEO bigger over time. The creative team is getting enormously big. Um, we, we tried two admins, we'll try to figure out if we'll do that again, but doubling up, doubling up, doubling up.